Satan and Teresh of those which kept the door were wrath and sought to lay hands on King Asharbus. They wanted to kill him. And the thing was known to Mordecai who told it unto Esther the queen. And the Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. I want you to stick a spin right there, praise God. In Mordecai's name. And when the inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out, therefore, they were both hung on a tree, and it was written in the book of the Chronicles before the king. Jump over with me, praise God, to chapter number three. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. After these things did King Azarus promote Amon, the son of Amidatal, the Agagite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the province that were with him. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Amon. For the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai had bowed not, nor did him reverence. Then the king's servant which were in the king's gate said unto Mordecai, Why transgress thou against the king's commandment? Now it came to pass when they spake daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman, See where the Mordecai mother would stand. For he had told us, told them that he was a Jew. In other words, he told them, I'm different. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath, the last verse of them, we jump over to the sixth chapter. And he taught scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone, for they had showed him the people of Mordecai. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were toward the whole kingdom of the Shabbos, even the people of Mordecai. Chapter number six, praise God, and we only need three verses from there. Amen. Praise God. Chapter number six, verse number one. Praise God. In two and three. And that night could not the king sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of the records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king. And it was found written that Mordecai. A toll of Bindan and Tiresh, two of the king's chamberlain, the keeper of the door, who sought to lay hands on the king. And the king said, What honor <laughs> and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Then the king's servant that ministered unto him said, there was nothing done for him. With love, time, read down for your own benefit. Close your, close your Bible, grab a hold to the person hand next beside you. Amen. Praise God. Let us pray. Make a kingdom connection up over this house. Hold on to the person next to you. And as you hold your hand, I just want you to open your mouth and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Ah, Father, in the name of Jesus. We come tonight, God, in your name, because we know that there is none before you. There is none to be compared to your name. I stand in my apostolic grace and authority as a son of God. I bind the prince of the power of the year. I shut down every evil assignment of the enemy. I bind territorial demons and every demonic flying bird. I shoot the blood of Jesus against you. I pray, God Almighty, that you will move tonight in this house like never before. Let the glory come down in this place and tabernacle with us. I pray, God, that preaching will be easy. We shut down human spirit and every spirit that come against the move of God. Shake the very foundation of this house tonight. Show yourself mighty and strong. Let revival and deliverance take place all over this house. I pray in the name of Jesus. And we declare that not one soul will leave the same way that they came. Somebody open your mouth and say in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Help me preach this word tonight. I want you to turn to the person, amen, that is next to you. Look at them and say, neighbor, it's reward time. From the king's gate to the king's palace. 
they didn't hear what you said turn to somebody else on the other side and say neighbor, neighbor. it's reward time, it's reward time. From the king's gate to the king's palace. He see them praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Give me a few minutes. Praise God. I promise you I'll work as best as I can. Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. The king asks, what has been done to this man? In other words, what reward <laughs> did he receive? Praise God. I open tonight, praise God, by saying... Amen. It is a very known passage, praise God, a scripture to the majority. Amen, praise God. As the author of the book, praise God, causes, praise God, to understand. Don't take me too down, Elder Lawrence, don't do that. Amen, praise the name of the Lord. The writer of the book, praise God, causes to understand that Esther who was, amen, the cousin of Mordecai who took her in, praise God, when her parents died and grew her, praise God, to be a beautiful and a lovely young lady. The word of the Lord causes us to understand, praise God, that this Esther was privileged to have access, praise God, to the palace, amen. Not only did she have access, praise God, to the palace, but she was privileged, praise God, to become, amen, the wife of the king, praise God, because the favor of the Lord was upon her and she was beautiful. Where are the beautiful sisters at tonight? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Now praise the name of the Lord. This Mordecai, children of the Lord, amen, is at the king's gate, praise God, which may indicate, amen, that when Esther became queen, she appointed him a magistrate or a judge, praise God. So now he's in a position where he can overhear, praise God, the conversation of palace of I want you to understand, bless the name of the Lord, that Mordecai is just in the king's gate. He's not in the palace yet, praise God, but he's in the king's gate, prophet, which means that things are a little better. And sometimes you have to learn how to praise God over better and Till best comes. And that is, I'm not where I want to be yet. But I can still praise him for where I am now. I don't have praise God the job that I really want yet. But I can still praise him for the one that I have now. I don't have the house yet, praise God. But I can still praise him on the one that I'm in now until it comes. And you better tell the devil I'm going to shout over better for the best is yet. Lord God Almighty, touch your neighbor, say neighbor, the best is yet to come. Amen, bless the name of the Lord. Can I take my time and preach to you here? So Mordecai, praise God, was at the gate. Now the gate, praise God, means access. So Mordecai was at the place of access. And some of us, praise God, let me tell you, praise God, some of us is at the gateway of a move of God. And you better make up in your mind that I refuse to be denied entrance from God's blessing on my life. Because there's so many of us in here, praise God, who know what it is like, praise God, to be at the gate and get shut out. Almost get married, praise God, but some kind of way, it didn't come true. Most praise God get the job, but it just didn't go true. But you better tell the devil this time I'm going in. Don't your neighbor say neighbor? neighbor. Listen, if that person won't talk to you, you better find somebody that's talking to you because we're at revival. We don't have more time to waste. I said, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. This time I'm going in. Feel the preacher right and it's worthy for that. So no Mordecai, bless the name of the Lord, is in the king's gate. 
And one day, as Mordecai was there, he heard, praise the Lord, that were keepers of the king, plotting to kill the king. And so, what Mordecai did is Mordecai said, I got to make this thing known unto the king. But Mordecai can't go in the palace. But while he can't go in the palace, he's connected to somebody that's in the palace. Can I talk about connection for a while? Because in this season, if you receive divine manifestation you got to connect yourself to the right people because people are like elevators some bring you up and some bring you down you got destiny killers and you got destiny helpers and some people were assigned to your life by the devil himself but I pass by tonight to serve every devil in your life. Notice that they can't stop what God is about to do in your life. Ah, don't push me a preacher. Because I feel something on me. And I said tonight. And I pray that God will release destiny helpers. Oh, I feel like preaching in here. I said my prayer tonight is that God will release destiny helpers. Preacher, what are you talking about? Well, fast your seatbelt, let's reason this. Joseph was in prison, but while he was in prison, he get connected with a butler who is connected to the king who God is going to use to take him into his destiny. That's why you got to be careful how you treat people because you might not need them today but you might just need them tomorrow. I feel like preaching can I preach? Lack of a feeling now. And it doesn't matter how anointed you are. You need somebody to help you get in your purpose. Because even Jesus needed John to sit on the voice of one cry in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way. Somebody clap your hands in here and shout hallelujah. Lord God Almighty, can I take my time and work this thing here? Bless the name of the Lord. So Mordecai told Esther, and the Bible said he told Esther in Mordecai's name. The question that I have is, ladies and gentlemen, why did it matter? Why did she have to told him in Mordecai's name? Does it really matter? But of course it's matter. What thing I want to show you is that anytime your name is mentioned, it releases favor from man over you. I feel like preaching here. I might squeeze somebody, but we praise God. But uh, forgive me. We have a thing in church now, Bishop. When they tell us, praise God, that when I do something, you don't have to call my name. And I understand that. But what you do normally is that you rob yourself from the favor that comes in return from men. Because they don't know what you do. You're going to get favor from God. Because God knows everything. But you lack favor from man in return. Preacher, what are you talking about? In the book of Luke 2 and verse 52, the Bible said, and Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. And I don't just want favor from the Lord. I need favor from God and favor from man. Because if I got both of them together, the devil can't stop me from walking through any door. 
Will somebody clap your hands in here? Yeah. And show glory. Yeah. Oh God Almighty. Yeah. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Yeah. So you don't have to praise me. You don't have to do that. Yeah. But just call my name. Yeah. Because I'm going to show you later yeah. that Mordecai was rewarded yeah. because somebody called his name. Yeah. Just touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, next time, honey. Yeah. Just please call my name. Yeah. You don't have to tell them I'm account number. You don't have to tell them my phone number. All I want you to do yeah. is go. Yeah. Lord God, I feel like running ahead of myself. Yeah. So watch this now, beloved. Yeah. So Mordecai here. Yeah. Mordecai save the king's life. Yeah. I'm not feeling the punch from this side. Praise God. I love when it blasts me here. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Can you turn it back or please open the home this side? Yeah. So Mordecai save the king's life. Yeah. And everything yeah. was going good. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. The Bible said when he saved the king's life, yeah. they hung the two door keepers. Yeah. And so they got out of the picture. Yeah. And everything yeah. was going good. Yeah. But after everything was going good, and yeah. yeah. now we have a great problem because yeah. the king decided yeah. to promote a man yeah. by the name of Agar. Yeah. I feel like preaching here. Yeah. He pronounced purpose to promote a man yeah. by the name of Amon, yeah. who was an Agagite. I will talk about that in a minute. Yeah. And this man became yeah. Mordecai adversary. Yeah. How many of you know yeah. that anytime the devil yeah. recognizes that things yeah. are going good in your life, yeah. he will always are yeah. something yeah. to drive you crazy yeah. but I pass by here tonight yeah. to encourage somebody yeah. that what the devil yeah. is using against you yeah. is what God has employed in disguise yeah. to work for your favor yeah. I feel like preaching up here yeah. I said everything yeah. that the Using to bring you down uh, was employed by God uh, to bring you up. Uh, I heard you, Apostle Paul, uh, for we know uh, that all things uh, love your neighbor uh, and said, Neighbor. Uh, Have a seat. Let me see if I can preach on to you some more. So now, praise God. Mordecai, bless the name of the Lord, is indicated, and now Amen is promoted. Bless the name of the Lord. But Mordecai refused to bow, praise God, to Amen when he was passing. The question is, why did he refuse to bow? After all, it's a space of respect. But it wasn't that the Jews have a problem with bowing because it was customarily that the Jews would bow before they came. In 2 Kings 14 and verse number 4, but the Persians are a little bit different because when they bow to their king, uh, they pay homage uh, as to a divine being uh, and Mordecai being a faithful Jew uh, uh, know that the only God uh, uh, that I'm supposed to bow to uh, uh, is the king of kings uh, uh, and the lords of law uh, uh, so aim and get mad uh, because anytime you don't bow uh, uh, people get mad uh, uh, when you don't bow and Job, uh, they can shun you. Uh, uh, or oh, somebody can't say anything about this. Uh, uh, when you don't bow in school, uh, 
They can't stand you. But I come and tell somebody. Keep on standing. But there's nothing the devil can put you out of. There's nothing the devil can put you in. That God can take you out of. I feel happy in here. And so now watch this here. So Amen get angry. And he went to the king for permission to destroy all the Jews that was in the province. But you got to understand that there's a problem with this. Because Amen was an Agagite. Now something is wrong with that. Because over five years earlier in 1 Samuel 15 the Lord gave King Saul an instruction to destroy all the Amalekites and the Bible told us that he speared a king by the name of Agog no Amon is like Agog predecessor so he picked up praise God after his wicked daddy way down the line and they did not fear God and sometimes we are struggling with stuff that our daddy should have killed oh God somebody fight me now sometimes we are struggling with stuff that mommy would have killed but just shake your neighbor's hand I'm going to quit in a few minutes I said shake your neighbor's hand and say neighbor I declare that the spirit from your mother's house shall not destroy you the spirit from your daddy's house shall not destroy you I dare you to open your mouth hallelujah I'm almost here but I'm almost dead. So Amon get mad and wanted to kill them, Lady Grey. But two things Amon did not understand. The first thing here is that Mordecai was a Jew, and a Jew is God people. And listen what the Lord says: Don't you not the Lord. If you're not anointed, you can't talk right here. Be quiet, your point is coming. He said, touch it not. The Lord's anointed. You see, one thing the anointing of God does is that the anointed protects you. You can touch anybody else, but don't touch the Lord's anointed. Is there any anointed person up in here? You have to jump on your feet. So the first thing is he was a Jew. The second thing, Bishop, is that Mordecai had done some stuff in his life and he didn't get no reward yet. I feel the preaching right here. I said, Mordecai had done some stuff and didn't get no reward yet. God bless you, Lady Baker. He raised up, praise the Lord, Esther, into a beautiful young lady. He didn't get no reward for that year. He saved the king's life. He didn't get no reward for that year. He stand up for God and would not bow. He didn't get no rewards yet. And one of the worst feelings in life is to be used and don't get no reward. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. What do you do? Let's talk a little bit. What do you do when you have put in your labor and get no 
through all. What do you do when you invest so much into somebody and they turn around and bite you? What do you do when you so, so, so and you haven't seen the reward? Feel the Holy Ghost in here. What do you do when you serve God faithfully and it seems like other people that's playing around in mess is being blessed and you don't get no reward? What do you do? Slap your neighbor, say neighbor. What do you do? Because the Lord spoke to me, and the Lord told me that there's a few person up in here that is saying, God, without the seed that I sow, without the sacrifice of me, what am I gonna receive? But I come to tell somebody. Stop your neighbor. Feel like preaching. Can I preach? So watch this. Let me work this thing real quick. So here is Mordecai. I'm acting like Mordecai. Here is Mordecai. And said that was coming from the left. That was coming from the left to get Mordecai. But there was some unreceived reward from the right that was coming. Yes. <laughs> if death come to him first, he can't get the reward. But if the reward come to him first, then death got to back up. That's all it is. <laughs> That's my <modesty. laughs> Watch this. <laughs> Let me tell you what I mean. <laughs> the Bible said in 2 Kings <laughs> and the 20th verse <laughs> that there was a captain <laughs> by the name of Ezekiel <laughs> that was coming to Ezekiah. <laughs> but Ezekiah said, God, <laughs> just remember <laughs> that I've walked before you in truth <laughs> and I've done that which is good. <laughs> in other words, what's my reward? <laughs> God said, all right, sir, I hear you. <laughs> and the Lord sent the prophet <laughs> to send him back <laughs> and tell him I'm going to have some here to his life. <laughs> and when the reward comes, <laughs> death got to back up. <laughs> I feel like preaching in here. <laughs> and what thing you got to understand? <laughs> you can almost sit me no keys in. <laughs> I feel like I'm almost there. <laughs> Is that God? Is that God of reward? So much so that I learned in the code in Hebrews 12, 11, and 6 that he that cometh to God must come believing that he is and that he is a reward. It's going to go on reward. And David understood this. That's why when he was fighting against Goliath, the first thing David asked is what shall be done to the man that killed this Philistine? Because they no Simba, just one time. No Aya, just one time. Because David understood that for every battle of fight, there got to be a reward. From one angle, 
and that's from the flesh but it was talking to believers if you go two verse down it says something like this be not weary in well doing and in due season you shall reign if you fail not shake your neighbor's hand I feel like preaching now I said shake your So you've got to understand. Let me tie this in with our subject now. That God reward us with divine manifestation. The word divine is from the Greek word theos, which means God. It speaks of the characteristics of the nature of God. It speaks of the power of God. That's what divine means. And when you look at manifest, it's bringing to light what's in obscurity. It means to be made obvious before one eyes. So when you put divine manifestation, what it simply means is God, the supernatural, stepping into the natural and do something that only He can do. And there's a few persons came by filter tonight with some circumstances that only God can fix. But God told me that it's the season. I feel the Holy Ghost. I said it's the season of reward. Give your neighbor a high five. Listen, watch this. I see somebody is sitting down to some cute people. I said you don't have time for that. Just tell them, excuse me a little bit. Let me find somebody that's desperate like me. You came here tonight. And your bills are paid. You came here tonight and your body's healthy. You came here tonight and your kids are in order. But I came here tonight with some junk in my life. And give me some room. Let me give God glory. Somebody on me. I'm not hearing no song. I said, open your mouth. Stop clapping your hands. Prophecy is like a concert. Somebody said, close it, black boy. I feel the Holy Ghost over here. Let me put the cap on this. Listen, don't sit on one time. That's all I need for now. So now Mordecai, life was on the line. He was about to die. But just before the devil could succeed, the Bible said the king, was sitting up in his room one night and no sleep could come in his eyes. He said, hold on a little bit. Bring me the book of the Chronicles. Let it be read. I heard God. I said, I heard God. He said, my God. I proud. Bring me the book. I feel like preaching in here. I got news for you. Slap your neighbor. I said, neighbor, your name is in the book. Oh God, you didn't hear what I said. Somebody just run out of the seat and run down this side. Somebody run down that side. And somebody run over here and just holler my name. It's in the book. I heard God tell me to tell you your name is in the book and your name watch this 
Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Watch this. The Bible says that the king was reading. And he came to a place where he saw Elder Bray. Oh, sorry. Not. He came to a place where he saw Minister General Ellis. Oh, not. He came to a place where he saw a man by the name of Mordecai. How many of you know that the Bible said angels in heaven be a record over Shonda? With all them stuff that you overcome, you think it was going like that? With all them suffering you endure, you think it was going like that? Slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, the book is open. The king says, What was done unto this man? God Almighty. Then he said to those around the back, because up here you didn't hear me. He said, What was done? I said, Neighbor, neighbor, what was done? I get some of this stuff on the way, but I know that ain't it. <laughs> oh, Pashan. I get a little break, but I know, I know that ain't it. <laughs> The king said, listen to me. I'm going to reward him now. Do you have five more minutes? Listen what he said. Amon was coming. So, Amon, his adversary, was coming. Because anytime God about to bless you, he's going to make sure. You're preaching too good over there, be quiet. Yeah. He makes sure that your adversary is there. Yeah. Somebody open your mouth yeah. and say, Lord, yeah. open the prayers yeah. and say, The king said, yeah. Amon was coming in. Yeah. The one that put on the death warrant against him. Yeah. The king said, Amon, can you please tell me something? Yeah. What do you think shall be done to the man yeah. that the king wants to honor? Yeah. So because he's full of so much pride, yeah. he didn't ask the king who it is. Yeah. He said, it must be me. Yeah. Well, king, let him ride on the city. Yeah. In the horse that you ride on. Yeah. Let him put on the royal apparel yeah. that you put on. Yeah. Let him wear a crown yeah. that you put on.
God Almighty. Some people don't get it yet. I don't say clap your hands. I say show. Let that devil hear. I'm going in. My palace now. You can't keep me out. It's my season. Let everything that I break. Lift your hands up close. Call for my shine. Lift your hands up close. I said, lift your hands, just open your mouth. Just open your mouth. We provoke this atmosphere. We provoke this atmosphere. I shut down every deaf and dumb spirit. Open your mouth now. Somebody shout and to God now. Somebody shout and to God now. Like you're in revival. I said, shout and to God now. Like you're in revival. As you lift those hands, before I release the school things, if you're unsaved, you're not baptized, just run, come, let me release some of this one. Run, come, real quick. If you're not baptized yet, just slip out of the seat and run, come. Don't let nobody push you. If you don't have the Holy Ghost yet, run, come. Lift your hands now. I said it's the season of revival. It's the season of revival. I said it's the season of revival. And your reward is at hand. Some people haven't said nothing all night. Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to say two minutes, just two minutes. And for this next two minutes, I want you to open your mouth and give God the lowest praise that you can find. And the glory of God is going to lift this room like liquid fire. What I call to do, I want you to shout. I don't care how you feel. I don't care what you're going through. I said, I want you to shout.
The Lord spoke to me. Lift your hands. Keep lifting your hands. The Lord spoke to me. Before I came in the stream, we seek the Lord. This is what the Lord said. If you just come for revival as usual, that's what you're going to get. But if you come for a move of God, it's already yours. Listen to me. If you're sick in this house, listen. Don't miss instruction. If you're sick in this house and you know that God is going to heal you tonight, lift your hands. If you know, if you know that God is going to heal you tonight, lift your hands. I want you to walk on your seat and just walk right to the south. I'm going to lay my hands on you. Just walk right to the south. In one line, I'm going to lay hands on you. And as I lay my hands on you, God is going to heal you. As you come lift your hands and praise God. Kappa Shan, the Mosai. I'm not asking if God is going to heal you. I'm telling you that if you believe God is going to heal you. Take it down under the song, man. For the past quite a few months, listen to me and listen to me real good. For the past a few months, God has given me this prophetic grace. Every church I go to, God just heal people like crazy. I say heal people like crazy. Share with you. Share with you. Just encourage your faith. And I was in St. John's Road preaching. And as I was preaching, I look at a woman in the congregation. Play strings. If you can't play strings, that would be good. And I look at this woman in the congregation. I said, I don't know you, but God is going to give you a creative miracle. So I said to her, that's what I heard in the Holy Ghost. I said, I don't know you, but God is going to give you a creative miracle. She said to me, she started crying. She said, man of God, the doctor said, I have cancer. I said, God, just go heal you. Because any time God reveals, he's to redeem. I lay my hands on her. I tell her that God is going to heal you. When you go up to the doctor, you're going to get a different result. A few months later, I was in the road preaching at my headquarter church. When I finished preaching, I walked out in the parking lot. I was about to go in the car. And this lady ran to me and said, bless you, man of God. I said, God bless you. She said, do you remember me? I said, not really. Because when you preach, you come across so much people, you don't even remember faces. She said, I was the lady you prophesied to in St. John's room. You told me that God will heal me from cancer. When I went back to my doctor, they can't find no trace of cancer in my body. I was in a church preaching in Ocherias. They brought this man to us. They said that he was a pastor. And something terrible came upon him. And from that, he wasn't able to walk. He started to lift him, lift him and bring him to the altar. Can't walk. He said, God going to heal about it tonight. Because all God is looking for is faith. Never get too familiar with God atmosphere that you don't expect a miracle. You see, that's what killing the church. Because we don't have no expectation. And expectation is the breathing God for miracle. You see what I love with the man that was at the, was at the gate in Acts chapter number 3? Regardless that he was in that position a long time, he was expecting something. How many of you still expecting something? To I lay hands on him. I said, God, go let him walk tonight. I lay hands on him in the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay hands on him, praise God. He started running over the sanctuary. How many of you know that God is an healing God? How many of you know that God is a miracle working God? Because the theme for this year, divine manifestation, I will not praise God, set up for this. If God said he's going to give you a divine manifestation to the man of God and we believe, that's exactly what God is going to do. The last one I'm going to share, just to build your faith, and I'm going to release this in here. I was in freedom preaching, Emmanuel Apostolic in Manchester. This lady walked to the altar. There was so much of them. She walked to the altar. Her hand was killing her. She said, man of God, my hand is killing me. I heard the Holy Ghost tell her, stretch it out. She said, man, she look at me. I said, stretch it out. Because all God is looking for is a medium. She stretched out the hand that was killing her. Even while she was stretching out, you could see the pain in her face. By the time her hand was reached out, she was running over the Holy Ghost and just rejoicing in the house. They got a healer. Every one of you that came tonight in faith, I declare that the healing is yours. Lift your hands, everybody. Just open your mouth and worship him.
Five moments and I'm going to release this. Lord, let the angel Papa Sean that stood in John chapter number five. That trouble in the water and the pool of Bethesda. Let that angel manifest itself to that. Just play it's just symbols and strength. Create an atmosphere, serenade the atmosphere, find the Holy Ghost and the Lord and say, Oh, you got it. That's it. Heal a bashanda. Heal a laman de video shatai. Let it be Christian Levi. The Lord told me he was going to do something powerful tonight. After this week of meeting, the testimonies are going to be crazy. I declare that they started Sunday morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands right now. Lord, we stand in apostolic grace and authority. I provoke this atmosphere. Let the glory of God saturate this atmosphere. Let healing be possible. Turn it up a little more. Let healing be possible. Let deliverance be possible. Move by your power. Move by your spirit. Yield God Almighty. Shatabashanda. Save and deliver. Somebody open your mouth and release it. I feel a release coming. Open your mouth now. Don't close your mouth. I say, open your mouth now. I say, open your mouth now. I say, open your mouth and show them to God. Oh, that little scoot stuff ain't gonna work tonight. I say, open your mouth. Open your anointed mouth. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shantelaba. Lady of the Christ, Helibai. Shot, yeah. He's here. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. I command you to receive from the hand of God. Lord, you know these people can be shut time with the Lord to get in everything. But I release the vine even right now. Kosa Mashan Rabaha. I release it in the name of Jesus. I curse every sickness and infirmity in your body. Mama Shanda, as I lay hands on you, just walk up to that way to your seat. Just walk back with you, see, walk up, come. Mama Shanda, I release 